My name is Salvador, and in 2002, I joined a couple called Caleb and Sophie Massey to minister 50Ks outside of Freyheit in northern Kuzum Natal. In 2004, we planted a church called Ibantla Lentlele Yodwa, which means Congregation of the Only Way, to teach that Jesus is the only way. At the end of that year, I ended up going back to the UK, came back to South Africa in 2006, met my wife in 2007, and then we moved back to that area in 2009, and we lived in Pumalani's homestead there in um, Guangadi. When Dai and I lived in Pumalani's homestead, during those seven years we evangelized to almost one person for every homestead between Esilengeni and Alpha, which is about 20 kilometers. And basically all of those homesteads around Kambi Tribal Clinic. My name is Woyile Muti. I preach the gospel in my area. I preach the gospel, I use tents, I stick in the evangelist. Evangelizing the areas between Esikhengen and Kambi, we saw very little response to the gospel, but we did find response to the gospel. And we started a few different Bible studies in some of those areas. One particular area is called, called Guabegepi. And there were ladies who'd responded to a tent crusade that was there and they stayed there for so many weeks and then they went. These ladies are part of a Zionist church there are no evangelical churches in their area. So we um, always did a weekly Bible study with them. And every time we do a mission trip, we go up there and visit them and try to be an encouragement to them. When I see Pumlani, I see the teacher, the teacher of the word, word of God. Yes, this is the gift I saw, I saw him, to him. But he needs support, very, very support, like the grow spiritual people. No good to the Laput and one moon to Ine and the Uti as a figure lay under Uzama Uzangasa when I'm for the Uas, but when they was a good engineer. In the afternoon, we had a Bible study with a pastor from a place called Shoba. Um, it was about discerning between what is biblical and what is unbiblical, truth and deception. Um, we found that he um, disagreed initially with what we taught, but in the end came to accept what we said was true. On the Saturday morning, we started with a kids club and I did a teaching on um, being disciples and being disciples means to become people who copy Jesus and we become like Jesus. And so we, I taught that lesson and, and I and I led them in some games. Head, shoulders, knees and 
and toes, knees and toes. Hey, cop! <laughs> Two, three, higher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I I love to uh, 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 to preach uh, outreach in this in, in this uh, yet in here. <laughs> I think the evangelists they no come to in, in, the, in this area because it, this we, we are in the last days. Yeah, we are in the last days. So the, in the last days, uh, uh, the, as the Bible says in the Timothy chapter three, in the last days, uh, some people they want the money. They think about it. Uh, they are selfish, not think about another people. So I see when 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 we when we look this area, we think about money. We don't think about the souls. That is why then God come here. On Sunday morning, we went with um, Pumulani to meet with the church, Ibantla Lenglele Yodwa at Kulani's homestead. Um, there was a wonderful time of sharing and Golani in particular shared that Easter last year she went through to a church in an area called Falbank over 20 kilometers away and she said that they'd really tried to put pressure on her to, to leave the church and join them and Golani was amazed that people when they get saved they're always going to a church outside of the community she said that this community needs the gospel, and it really does. When people like Pumalani, Kalani, Mantombela, in Bantlala and Leliodwa, when they get visitors coming from other locations in South Africa, other members of the body of Christ, it really does encourage them in their walk with the Lord. They feel that they're not so alone. Also, when so many evangelical churches are preaching a prosperity gospel or word of faith, it can get quite lonely. You get to a place where you think maybe we're the ones who are wrong. Everybody else is into this kind of thing. But when you get believers from solid biblical churches coming into the area who are of like mind and like heart, it really does encourage you to stay strong in the faith and to realize that we're not alone that the body of Christ is big and we are not forgotten. People do remember us. I think the biggest challenge they need uh, some another another preacher he go he grow he, in the in the in the field to preach. Uh, like they need an evangelist. Yes, or a pastor, but I, I'm thinking they need evangelist to to help them because this area still needs evangelist. 